Who would have thought Christmas in a bus could be this delicious? Bon appetit. Happy Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everyone! Have you ever wondered what it would be like to spend Christmas Day in a bus? Well, this year we did exactly that. And the Scrabble's out! Every Christmas away from family is always a sad one for James and I, but we did our very best to ensure the festivities ran throughout the day with the usual fun, games, good food and good wine. But before we get going, it would mean so much if you could subscribe to our channel so more awesome people like yourself can find us. Wherever you are in the world, whatever you got up to for Christmas, we hope you had a wonderful and joyous day. Merry Christmas again, guys. What day is it? It's Christmas! Yay! Yay! Put your Santa hat on! Yay! <laughs> it's Christmas! Yay! Yay! Merry Christmas, Bob. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you. But the big question, do we have coffee or Bucks Fizz first? Well, I think a coffee to start us off so we're like, got enough caffeine in us and then, BAM! Hit us with the Prosecco and the orange juice. So, being originally from the UK, Christmases for us growing up were very much cold outside, sitting by the fire, mince pies, Christmas songs and movies playing every day, every minute of the day. But it is always a little bit different since moving to Australia. Instead of cold, we've swapped it for hot. It's normally spent by the beach and instead of turkey, it's normally prawns. <laughs> Basically. But this year is even more different because we're not just in Australia, it's just me and James, and it's our first Christmas in the bus. Yes, it is. So stay tuned for this video because we're gonna show you what it's like to spend Christmas in a bus. And try and cook a whole English Christmas dinner in just an air fryer. But first, coffee. I'll have an old cappuccino, please, doll. You can have one. Guys, you're in luck because usually the bus is a bit of a, for a better word, tip. So we made a conscious effort to tidy up the bus yesterday. Yeah, not super clean, but it's not bad. It's not, it's not the bad. worst it's been. It's not. <laughs> Great start to the day. The coffee machine needs a clean, so I can't even finish making the coffee. It's the the death blink. The death blink. Well, I'm just gonna do it quick before our coffees get cold. Quick, 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 save the coffee! Right, tablets in. Yeah. Hold them both down. That should just kick in. Don't press one? I think so. It should just start going pretty <laughs> clean, quick, clean, quick. I don't want cold coffee. Oh, there you go. <laughs> did you did, did you did you speak to mum and dad? Yeah, we called them at like ten to seven. I thought you guys were still this late. Yeah, we, we were. were. Merry Christmas, everyone. everyone. Snow is falling. Snow is falling. But it's not. But it's not. Because we're in Australia where the sun is shining brightly and there's no snow angels, just sandy ones on the beach. <laughs> That's right, it is not snowing here. It's actually a little bit overcast, um, which is a bit disappointing because you think, well, if you're gonna have a hot Christmas, it might as well be hot. So we are currently taking refuge in the bus. Alex is prepping the brekkie. So on today's breakfast menu, we have decided on pigs in blankets. Yes, we've brought the pigs in blankets forward 12 hours because we've decided that we're not gonna be able to cook that along with everything else for Christmas dinner. So, pigs and blankets. Got to get the cocktail sticks out so we can wrap it round. Eggs, beans, toast, 
I mean, it's going to be a brunch more than anything else. We're also going to crack open the Bucks Fizz. Now, for those of you that don't know what Bucks Fizz is, Bucks Fizz is a very traditional English Christmas drink for breakfast. It is a concoction of... Alex? Pardon you? Sausages and bacon. <laughs> Buck's Fizz apparently is a concoction oh. of sausages and bacon. No, it's not, Alex. Buck's Fizz is a concoction of... Prosecco and orange juice. Prosecco and orange juice. We're going to have that now and then crack out some Christmas tunes because it is Christmas after all. Happy Christmas! Woo! 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 <laughs> Cheers, baby! Merry Christmas! Merry bloody Christmas! Merry Christmas! That is good! <laughs> oh, yes! Look at those delicious bad boys. Well, this definitely is a breakfast of champions. Not bad for Christmas in bus life. Pretty good for Christmas in bus life. I'm pretty impressed with how the sausages turned out. So I'm so excited for our pork belly later. <gasps> and you got your Tommy K, <laughs> Heinz. <laughs> Give it to me. Yeah, buddy. Pardon you. <laughs> <laughs> what a great Christmas so far. Oh, cheers, darling. Cheers. Love you. Woo, love you too. And I love you guys as well. Thanks for putting up with us on YouTube. I am absolutely stopped. <laughs> What a bloody good brunch for Christmas Day. Clean plates, almost. I couldn't quite finish the last piece of bread. <sighs> what are we going to do now? Scrabble. Too early for Scrabble? Scrabble. <laughs> and the Scrabble's out! We have been playing this on and off for the past seven months. I think I am winning. Alex is winning. But it all comes down to this. Christmas Day Scrabble. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? <laughs> well, who goes first? You've got E. I've got E. So, I mean, chances are you're going to go first. Yes! So, comes the end of the game where we tally up who won and I have a feeling this person in front of me has won yet again <laughs> but because it is Christmas she will let me win 6 and 15 3, 6, 4 Alex is on 3, 6, 4 6 minus 10 <laughs> 300 and 30. Uh, yeah, I won by like 50. This is the worst Christmas ever. <laughs> it's okay. I love you anyway, baby. I love you, but you're a loser. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. Don't be a sore loser. <laughs> So sadly, Scrabble did not go my way, but we've decided to get some fresh air, vent this frustration of mine, but also most importantly, help digest this breakfast so we can make more room for a yummy dinner. So we're gonna go for a walk on the beach. But before I go, a roadie for the walk.
So today has been rather splendid. It's been a very relaxing Christmas morning and Christmas afternoon, but we're getting to the good, the exciting, the fun bit of Christmas day. Oh yes! Christmas dinner! <laughs> and what is on the menu for Christmas dinner? We are going to attempt to cook pork belly in an air fryer. Oh yes! We've never done it before and I hope it's going to come out okay! We don't even have a backup. No, we don't. If um, it all goes wrong, then it's just mashed potatoes and veggies. <laughs> it's okay too. That'd be fun. <laughs> oh, oh no, we have backup pasta. Oh, we do. Pasta. <laughs> Leftover pasta. Okay. All right. There it is. So we picked up this book from Kmart, which was $12, which is an absolute bargain. And this is our wonderful air fryer from Aldi. And these recipes, honestly, the pictures alone make me salivate. So we found this recipe, which is this here, pork belly roast. Don't know what to do first. So I'm actually pretty good at making pork belly, but in the oven. I've made it a few times before and I've nailed it every single time. So talk about literally setting a standard. So we're gonna to attempt to make it in the air fryer. The steps are pretty simple. We really shouldn't be able to mess it up. I mean, the first challenge is actually seeing if it fits. I don't think it's gonna fit. <laughs> we may have to cut this pork belly down. Oh, but that's fine, what we'll do is we'll cut Should off. Should we cut it in half? I reckon we'll cut, no, no, we'll cut a round shape so it fits in there perfect. And any remnants we'll save and cook in a few days time. So it does say to dry the skin of the pork using paper towels. So this is exactly what I'm doing. Basically you want to dry it out as much as possible. So we have uh, salt, pepper. It does say, I mean, you can use garlic powder, which we do have. Our lovely terracotta pots, mm -hmm. which we got in an antique store. So we have our garlic powder. Oh my God, <laughs> what is that? Okay, so. Is that from the heat? Okay, we can't use that. <laughs> No garlic powder. It, I mean, it smells like garlic, but it's it, like that solidified. Is stuck in there. Look. Yeah, no. That is rock hard. I can't. It's bending the fork. No, oh. don't. I'll um, I'll put some more. <laughs> All right. So no to garlic powder. Just salt and pepper. But that's fine. You know, garlic powder is overrated anyway. So first of all, we have to make sure it fits in. So do you want to get me a sharpie? <laughs> Looking not bad. It's good. Is it crispy? I don't know. Oh, it sounds pretty crispy. It actually Ooh. sounds pretty good. Do you want to try a bit? Go on, taste it. Do you want a bit? Taste a bit first. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> it's crunchy! <laughs> So the Yorkshire puddings <laughs> look more like cakes at this moment in time. Why has it not got a hole in it like the melon? I'm not, I think we put too much in there. Do you think? Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, they're, but they're not, they're, I don't know. Maybe get a fork. All right. Yeah. Let me see if it comes out clean. No. <laughs> they I look pretty they're good. Right. They're just not. They're just what not you're puffed aesthetically up. Aesthetically used to. Yeah. I can just give it another five minutes. Come on, air fryer. Oh Aldi God. air fryer. I mean, it's done pretty good so far. It's cooked like our entire Christmas dinner. <sighs> Don't let us down on the Yorkshire puts. <laughs> Food on this plate. 
I mean, that is a dinner of champions. Wait. Don't oh, forget. don't forget the gravy. We didn't really have a, a pourer. Oh, yes. <laughs> so guys, let's run through exactly what we have <laughs> on today's menu. So we have vegetables, which is broccoli, pumpkin and kale. With and carrot. Oh, and carrot with a very questionable Yorkshire pudding. Alex's looks a lot better. I gave her the nice one with some mashed potato because we just did not have the space or time to put them in the air fryer. There's no way I would have. This air fryer has worked overtime tonight. And roast pork belly. I'm so proud of us. I can't believe we made all of this in an air fryer and in a bus. Who would have thought Christmas in a bus could be this delicious? Bon appetit. Happy Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. I'm just going to pour some baileys. As you do. That's a little one, it? It's a baby one. It's a just, it's just for me and James. We didn't want to go too crazy. And it was only 10 bucks. So that Christmas dinner was just so delicious <laughs> it went down an absolute treat it goes to show you don't need to have this big fancy kitchen to cook a delicious christmas dinner we did it in a simple air fryer a couple cooktops bloody tasty and that was it and we finished off the day with some facetiming our family because we are from the uk and most of our family is still in the uk so that was really nice to catch up with them and see what they were up to today and not forgetting cheeky cold glass of Baileys which was so good <laughs> always feels like such a treat because we never have it apart from really at Christmas time I don't know why we don't have it I know why because in Australia Baileys is so expensive oh, for like true. a standard bottle of Baileys it's like $30 in the UK it's like £10 <laughs> Mike <laughs> oh. all in all it's been a really great day even though it was just me and you this year it's been perfect. It was the perfect Christmas that we could have had in the bus with just the two of us. It was amazing. So I think we're going to get into bed, snuggle up, watch one more Christmas movie. <laughs> no, we've got to squeeze in one more. And I think that Christmas movie is going to be Die Hard. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Alex has never seen Die Hard. And a lot of you people watching this video right now must be thinking, Die Hard isn't a Christmas movie. No, but it is. <laughs> so guys, if you like this vlog, please like, please subscribe to our channel. It helps us reach other people out there in the YouTube community who like to watch us create these funny, silly videos. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so, a <laughs> So originally, mm. <laughs> we're not going to be able to be able. We're not going to be able to be able to be able to. Oh, it's been perfect. It was the perfect bus. Nope.